Isolation often thought of as a call to people who reject any connection with the outside world, but in my personal experience, that's simply not true. Isolation first starts with decluttering with all of the worldly possessions, but it actually goes much deeper than that. Hi, my name is Aurora and I've been isolated since the day I was born. And since there is a lockdown all over the world due to the coronavirus, I decided to share with you my story. My parents were so happy to have a baby, but unfortunately, I was diagnosed with solar urticaria, also known as sun allergy, which means that every time the sunlight hit my skin, I get completely covered with rashes and hives all over my body. My childhood was different and difficult at the same time. At the beginning, it was hard for me and for my family to get used to it. But when the time passed, I learned how to live with it and accept it. I do understand that being stuck at home with not much to do maybe seems difficult and boring for the most of you because you are used to going out and doing outdoor activities with your friends. But for me, <laughs> it's normal because that's what I have been doing since my childhood. And I am here to tell you that you have to see things from a different angle and to see the current situation as a chance to improve. When stuffs are removed from our lives, we have more time to focus on what really matters. Like working on passion projects, spending quality times with our families, focusing on our health and investing in our hobbies, and for me, that happens to be reading and singing. If you should learn anything from this lockdown is that you need to be thankful and grateful for all the blessings that God has given us. Appreciate the small and simple things and enjoy every moment of our lives. And if there is any lesson to be learned from this isolation is that sometimes less is really more. <laughs>